spring. So let's spring clean your socials. Now you probably clicked on this video because you're using Linktree right now. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why Linktree is sabotaging your success on Instagram and what you should do instead. So my name is Lauren Tegner and the purpose of my YouTube channel is to help you build your personal brand, grow on social media, so that you can build your very own business. So if you're into that type of thing, make sure to check out all my other videos because I'm also creating a Spring Clean Your Social series, which I'm gonna be putting into a playlist so that you can binge watch all those videos and get everything totally optimized so that you can have as much success as possible. And in order to facilitate that, I'm even doing a totally free challenge, which is the very first link in the description box below. And in that challenge, I'm going to be guiding you through the five fundamental steps to spring clean your social media so that you can get more sales, so that you can grow your following, and so that you can have results. And with that said, let's get into why you shouldn't use Linktree and what you should do instead. First things first is that it is confusing people. So in order to back all of this stuff up, I'm gonna be using science because I wanna make sure that you know that all of this stuff is legit and that the information that I'm gonna be sharing with you is going to truly, truly help you because that is what I am all about. According to psychology and the dictionary decision fatigue is where there is a deterioration in the quality of your decision making process due to the fact that you've already had to make so many decisions so in layman's terms and how this applies to you decision fatigue is a problem it's a problem because it means that when someone clicks on the link in your bio they're given so many options and they don't know where to go as humans we want to know what the next best step is for us to take that is going to help us solve our current and immediate problem. Especially living in the 21st century, unless you're watching this way into the future and you're in like you're the year 3054, then, well, it's probably even worse then, but things are happening so fast. We want immediate instant gratification. So that means that you need to give people what they want and make it easy for them to take a decision. Now, here's how this is going to actually affect the amount of sales that your business is making, the amount of people who are actually transferring from your Instagram to your YouTube or your podcast or wherever you're trying to send them to. Well, let me let me show you a study. So this study was actually done in the year 2000. So I believe that this study is probably amplified in this day and age because just in under 20 years, people have become even more instant in where they want to get their results. So with that said, I found something called the jam experiment. Now, I don't know about you, but I absolutely I absolutely love jam and for any of my Americans who are watching this right now, jam is jelly and it's bloody good. So with that said, I found out about the jam experiment from Harvard Business Review. And Harvard Business Review reported on this study done by two psychologists where they went into a supermarket and essentially what they did is one day they set up a stand and on that stand they gave 24 options for gourmet jam. So people could come and they could taste and sample the gourmet jams. And every single person who sampled was given a $1 off voucher in order to go and purchase the jam. And then they essentially went away, went home, went to sleep, did whatever they had to do, maybe ate some jam, and they came back into the supermarket the next day. And instead of having 24 different options out there, they decided to color into a quarter and give just six options and everyone was given that same $1 of voucher. And guess what, the results are absolutely mad. So on the first day, more people were interested. More people went over to the stand to sample the jam. However, there was 10 times more sales on the second day where there were only six options out. So less people went over to that stand, but 10 times the amount of people actually ended up making a purchase. So that means that you don't need a big following in order to have success, but if your call to action, aka the link in your bio is clear and there's just one option, then you could have 10 times the amount of results, even if you have a quarter, just a quarter of the options. How insane is that? Anyway, you may have seen this because you click someone's link in their bio. After you see their post, which tells you about a brand new pair of leggings that you want to go ahead and buy. You then click that link tree and you see all these other options. You actually find out for the first time, oh, this person has a podcast. I'm gonna go check that out. And then you forget about the leggings and then it turns out that the sale on the leggings is no longer on, so you missed out on that opportunity. 
So that's a problem for you because you missed out as the consumer, but it's also the problem for the person who's linked in the bio that you're clicking because maybe they had an affiliate commission to do with those leggings or something along those lines. However, if they had just simply had a call to action in their bio, which has those two arrows pointing down the emoji saying, click here to get the sale on the leggings, and then the link was their direct link to those leggings, then you would have clicked it, you would have made your purchase, and both parties would have been happy. Now, I know what you're thinking, but that person would never have found out about the podcast if the link tree was never there. That is okay, here's what you need to do. Every single time you make a post about something new, you simply just swap the link. So let's use our example. That day, they put the call to action with the arrows pointing down in their bio saying, click here to get the leggings sale or whatever it happens to be. And then the next day, if they want to promote their podcast, they would say, click here to listen to my latest episode of my podcast, which is about X, Y, and Z. And then they have the link to the podcast, which means that when people see the post, they're gonna know exactly what they're getting. Here's the thing. You're watching a YouTube video which can be watched now and way into the future. However, Instagram isn't like that. Instagram is more instant. For sure, sometimes posts appear in your feed that are from a few days ago. However, it's highly unlikely that a post is going to appear in your feed that is from over three days ago. So swapping the link in your bio out every time you speak about something new is totally okay. Instagram is instant, people read a caption, they see a post, and then they'll immediately go click the link in your bio to get what they want at that one moment in time. The amount that you'll gain through not using Linktree and through instead just having that one clear call to action far outweighs the potential losses that you have in case people don't find out about your 10% affiliate link or your your podcast in that one instance. So you may now also be wondering, okay, what shall I actually put as a link in my bio? And it should either be your secondary platform, so you should know by now that you shouldn't just be only using Instagram. And in fact, if you don't need to make a video on why you shouldn't just use Instagram, hit the thumbs up. And also, if you want me to talk about which platforms you should be focusing your efforts on, hit thumbs up, let me know down below. But most importantly, hit that thumbs up. So that could be the first thing. It could be the link to your secondary platform, which could be a range of different things. And then you could also have a link to your free lead magnet. Again, if you want a video on that, smash the thumbs up so I know, let me know down below as well. And that could be a freebie and opt into your email list or your messenger bot or something along those lines. And then let's just say you launch a new program, you launch a new coaching offer or something along those lines, then you could directly put the link to the application form in your bio and say, I'm now taking on one-to-one coaching clients, here is the link to apply. And then when you've switched that out and put the link to apply in your bio, you can make a post, which is an official launch post. And then as time goes on, as applications come rolling in, then you can take the link to apply out and instead put the link to your lead magnet back in. And I honestly think that one of the biggest reasons why people want to use Linktree is because they don't have a clearly defined niche. But don't you worry, that's what next week's video is going to be all about. Make sure to hit subscribe. I'm really enjoying making all the videos for this Spring Clean Your Socials series, which is officially on and it's just a small snippet of what's inside of my brand new course impacts your social media. So if you get involved with the challenge, which is the first link below or the workshop, if you're watching this way into the future, then don't worry, I've got a special offer for you to get involved with impact your social media so that you can start really growing on social media and actually using social media to monetize in a strategic way. Because it's all well and good growing on social media, but if you don't actually have a business, if you don't have an offer, if you don't know how to sell, then it's just a hobby, it's not an actual business. So with that said, that is everything for this video. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one and I'll see you inside the challenge.